Spanish hem stitching is a delightful addition to any project. It is used to join two finished edges together. It works well to attach borders or edging to a skirt or curtain or even just to add some extra length to a tablecloth. Now this finished edge here could be a corded edge, a facing, or just a turned under edge that's maybe even as little as 3 eighths of an inch. The new Bernina hem stitching attachment number 47 has a couple different things in the box when you open it. First off, you use it in conjunction with the open toe number 20 foot on your sewing machine. Now, depending if you have a Bernina with a 5.5 width stitch width or if you have one that has 9 millimeters, if you have a 9 millimeter stitch width, you're going to use the two larger attachments that come in the box. I'm using the smaller version today. There is two sizes here. One is set up for thinner, lightweight fabrics, and the other one is set up for heavier fabrics. So depending on the little lip, this one's the smaller one for lighter weight fabrics. It has kind of a, an edge that's cut away from it more or little, and then this one has a higher one to accommodate thicker fabrics. So we're working on lighter weight fabrics today. So that's what we're going to start with. Next, oh and look, you could actually add laces or ribbons to the edge of your projects. And see this blue little addition? That is a cord, so we'll show you how to put the cord in. You're going to have a fastening sheet. This part here attaches to the sewing machine. You've seen two holes over here on the side. Those are for accessories. So we're going to set this up to go ahead and sit in here. But before you put that actually in the holes, you want to add the cord or spacer to the project. Now it has a little nub on the end. That's going to go away from us. I'm going to kind of push that in here and slide it forward. And that attaches it to that sheet. I'm going to place it in. It sits in a small little hole that's right in the middle of your foot. And then this is going to screw into place. There is a screw and screwdriver included in the accessory box. So just give that a nice little turning. I always remind people these holes are not oil holes. They are for putting attachments on your machine. Next, you're going to take your two folded edges and put them up and a little spacer here. It is recommended that if you have some longer tails out the back is to hold on to them because as you pick a decorative stitch you want it to number one be as wide as possible so it catches on both sides of the fold but part of that stitch may start out in air so by holding on to those threads as you get started that way your first couple stitches are nice and secure. You have a wide variety of decorative stitches, even if you have just a few stitches that are practical in use. You just want something as wide as can be, and sometimes those stitches that stitch in the middle of the stitches, it works its way from the left to right. That's what puts that pretty little accent in between the two fabrics. Can you imagine putting a little piece of lace onto a hem this way? That little extra gap lets the decorative stitches show through. To insert the cord, what you want to do is just go ahead and lift up the presser foot and slide that cord down the groove. And if that needle is hanging off to uh, one side or the other, that'll make it nice and easy for it to get slipped in there. I'm going to go as far as I can. And then just go ahead and let it stitch. That's going to add a really pretty finished color on the inside. And look, you barely have to hold anything. The cord's being held by the, the little guide here, and the fabric practically runs right beside it, keeping it all nice and even. Isn't that pretty? 